Hello my friends, it's Annette Lovart and I am so happy to see you in my channel. I am going to show you some beautiful paints and how fun to paint uh, daisy flowers. And let's start to paint. A little bit about my colors. I am using acrylic colors and you can use of course gouache for this painting too. Now I have some few of my favorite brands. To be honest, it's first it's Padeo. And second, it's Turner from Japan. It's the best brand what is you can find ever. <laughs> but when you're doing uh, any stroke works, you need uh, paint to be right consistency. It's the most important part for paintings. So I put a couple of drops water, but you can use medium too. And mix all this together. I will use round brush, squirrel, size number 3 and like you see you pick up your green colors on your brush full and just a little bit on the tip white color. You can see easily how it looks. We we'll start some magic because these three colors will make mix on paper. We're going to get the brush to move down the paper without my hand moving so lay it down stroke and don't forget to every time take the same combination colors like you see now I take just yellow green with white every time I take just a little bit white green and white like you see easily each time I have on tip a little bit white color each stroke you just lay down lay down slowly don't be fast and your flowers will be so beautiful and make the new stroke right here just ignore that first stroke We start to paint the third flower, and stroke by stroke, you will see how will be beautiful your daisy. To be honest with you, I think it's very nice time to spend and paint some flowers with this technique because maybe 99% uh, who can try few times can be successful because it's very easy technique. I believe each person can paint very beautiful flowers. It can be like therapy from big stress or even small what we have every day but when you start to paint you forget about everything it's very cool just try I'm sure you will like it and I will repeat again must remember every time you must have in your brush two colors in the same time yes I take this yellow green and just a little bit white what does it make mix on the paper so nice stroke and what does it make me relax for example i like so much your likes comment and when i see so many people follow my page it's very nice because in youtube it's very difficult now to create new page and every person who can help me and support to repost my video share with your friends and of course like and your comments it's make me relax so much guys can you make me a little bit relax or you can make me a lot relax thank you my friends i will be really really very happy to see your attention And 
didn't be the last stroke. Now I'm using my lovely brush because it's from Cat and I love so much cats. It's my favorite uh, animals I like so much. And don't worry about cat. Look how small brush, nothing bad with cat happened. And this brush is from Ukrainian national art like um, Petrikovka. Maybe somebody know already. People using this brush in um, folk art. And it, what does it make me surprised? Because I get a lot of comments and message like, oh my God, how to do this brush? Can you explain? Of course, I will do some video. I never did this brush, but I talked with a girl what she does this brush and she was accept to make together video. And uh, now I'm using white acrylic colors just to make the ground for center of uh, daisy. It will be yellow color, yes? Before white color will be dry, I will prepare my new colors, it's yellow. You will need only two, but I'm using three, but two it's enough. Light yellow and dark yellow. I take orange, but I don't use it. And again, I drop some a little bit water and mix. Ta-da! <laughs> Next step, we will need only simple uh, sticks for ears. I'm just a little bit put in water and make more strong. And maybe you have question why I have so strange uh, accent. Yes, like you see, it's winter outside and minus nine degrees uh, on the street. I'm from Ukraine and this is like Ukrainian national paintings. But let's talk about paintings. With your sticks, you must to take light yellow color and you can have two ways. You can do around points and just a little bit dark you make like around light yes you can see easy colors can be mixed it's not so bad or you can start from center and do around center more 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 and just downstairs you can make dark colors like you see and few points you see, I put three, four, okay, four, four points in center. Now, I will not start to make you boring again to say about how to prepare colors with green colors, but I'm using dark green and light green. And make stroke. If you want to see about my brush video, you can look it in my playlist, which brush I'm using and about the brand. And I have a good video about how to paint leaves. I explain with all details. Welcome to watch. Will be more easy to understand this technique. And now it will be so cute. We will make small put on. Like you remember, I say you take dark green and light green and make stroke. Each stroke you must take a little bit light green. But it has some rules, you know, like if you paint on dark background, you must take first dark color and on the tip light. But if you will paint the same leaves on uh, white background, it will be totally different. You must take first light green and after dark. You can put just uh, where you want a little bit more green leaves and like you see every time when it's light green finish I take just a little bit I make small decoration to be more beautiful and now I'm using again cat brush but you can using squirrel too and you make uh, just decoration somewhere you make some beautiful details and like you remember in the same way two colors in same time yes you see in my brush every time have 
light green and dark green. Here only your fantasy. Like you see, for this painting we are using uh, six colors, yes? You know why six? We have light green and dark green. Light yellow and dark yellow and the same we are using white with very light green. Every time for each stroke to make this beautiful shadow in leaves, you must using two colors, it will make this gradient. And thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my channel, to put like, thank you.